Tonight, live from the Airstream Village in the insert funny phrase of downtown Las Vegas, we present the insert funny phrase two of the downtown podcast. Starring your host, Mr. Dylan Jorgensen, Jillian Minter, Trey Tayafe, and music by yours truly, DJ Lenny Love Alfonso. Tonight's guest, the one and only, Sarah Jessica Parker. And from the San Gennaro Festival, Tony Saka. And musical performance by James Shahan. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for the man who's responsible for inserting the funny phrases, Mr. Harry Tayafe. How's everyone doing? Yeah. Oh, great show. Sarah Jessica Parker's here. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. I like to hear that. First of all, crazy week this week, right? How was your, how was your guys' this week? Week's good? It's a crazy one. Started off 420 on Monday. It's we don't know day. what it's happened on Tuesday. <laughs> and then Wednesday was Earth Day, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Earth Day. Um, so it was a great week for people who wear sandals. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Actually, this was the first year that a few states were able to celebrate 420 legally, including Washington, D.C. Yes, that's why Congress puff, puff, passed a lot of bills. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Pelosi, you got to try this stuff. <laughs> yeah. But Earth Day was yesterday. What'd you guys get her? Nothing. No? I was going to get her a Get Well Soon card. Oh, wait. <laughs> I did get her a gift, Get Well Soon card, sorry about that. But I got her a gift certificate to Target in my HBO Go login account. Because she hadn't seen Game of Thrones, and I was like, what, Earth? You crazy. A lot of, a lot of deaths. Right? Spoiler alert, everyone dies. Uh, did you guys see the new trailer for Star Wars? Yeah, all right, yeah. Did you notice how bad Han Solo aged? Check this out. Compared to Chewbacca, look at him. <laughs> oh. Chewie, what's your secret? Actually, we found out what the secret was. We did some research and discovered just for Wookiees. <laughs> it's a natural hair coloring specific for Wookiees. Just because the weight of the universe is on your tall shoulders doesn't mean you have to look it, right? It looks good there. <laughs> just, just for Wookiees. Old enough to defeat the Rebel Alliance, but young enough to hook up at the Star Wars Cantina. Yeah. That's enough. That's enough. It goes on and on and on and on. And on. <laughs> so here's a random segue. You ready for this? Speaking of Star Wars, football. I don't know. I was, <laughs> thought it was crazy. Well, after, after being released a few years ago, Tim Tebow was signed by the Philadelphia Eagles. Yeah, Tim Tebow, welcome back, right? He said that he was given this opportunity because he made serious improvements to his skills, including his famous touchdown celebration, Tebowing. Remember this a long time ago? Everyone was doing that? Right, right, right. Yeah. The serious improvements he made were, first, teabagging. <laughs> teabagging? Different than what you thought, huh? TPing. There he is. Imagine that in a celebration. T shirting. Yeah, okay. My favorite, uh, Mr. Teeing. <laughs> That's quite the celebration. And then finally, T Swifting. Yeah. We got a great show for you guys tonight. Keep it up. Sarah Jessica Parker. But first, let's hear it for DJ Lenny Love Alfonso. Yes, thank you, sir. Good show, the end of men, troglodytes, cavemen. What even this can be? Hi, 
this is Bonnie with My Vagabond Soul, and we want to know, what is your dream and how are you chasing it? Follow us as we interview dreamers of all walks of life, entrepreneurs, musicians, artists, and much more. Hear more about this interview with Craw and the Salvation Highway Band. Well, songwriting and playing music is my passion. I want to inspire others that come from struggle to chase their dreams and one day make it become a reality. For this interview with My Vagabond Soul co-founder and artist Kat Ford. I started writing children's books to encourage kids of all ages to chase their dreams. We believe in chasing our dreams and want to inspire you. So visit us at myvagabondsoul.com, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Because now that you know your dream, it's time to start chasing it. Guest this, guest this evening has been a mainstay in Las Vegas for over 30 years, establishing himself as one of the city's most successful entertainers and businessmen, while also producing outstanding television and commercial projects, including the award-winning show, Entertainment Las Vegas Style. But most importantly, he is the stage host of the upcoming San Gennaro Festival. Please welcome Tony Saka. <laughs> Wrong wrong song for this event. Oh, I like him. He's rad. His name is Vegas Lenny. He sings Las Vegas Rocks. You know, we have our own Lenny. But he's DJ Lenny. They kind of look alike, don't Lenny they? Look love. <laughs> hey now. <laughs> yes, it's great to be here. Thank you. Thank you for the spin. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Get comfortable. We're waiting. It's fine. I don't know which way to cross. Either. Either. Just Ooh. careful when you go around. I haven't even had a drink yet. That's what you say. Jeez. It's great to be here. Thank you so much for promoting our San Gennaro Feast. Can you mean that 36 years we've been feeding No, Las that's Vegas? crazy. Ooh, food. When, so when is this year's festival? May 6th. It's a Wednesday to Sunday. May 6th to the okay. 10th. Lots of food, fun, entertainment. Drinks. Ah, most importantly, Wine. that's all you need, right? Beer. For a night out. Oh my God, fun for the whole family. It's a great, Absolutely. great event, really. So what inspired the whole festival and event? Uh, it started out in New York, uh, the Italians cooking for the people around that area, bring the people together. That's what San Diego represents, bring the community together. And we've been doing that for 36 years here. Excuse me. Sorry. You're getting real distracted with that, aren't you? I, I, I don't know. You have to go all the way around if you're going to do it. Whew. My God. <laughs> anyway, uh, we, we really enjoy bringing the community together, children, adults. It's fun for the whole family. It's great. That was the whole inspiration of bringing San Gennaro to Las Vegas. And you have a lot of new fun things this year, right? The we food got a, piazza. Food piazza. Um, red carpet. Red carpet. We got there's, a slingshot that takes you 200 feet in the air. Yeah, the there's a stunt jump. Stunt jump. The, what's your favorite? My favorite is the pizza. The pizza. That's a good choice. Yes, I mean, there's all different types of pizzas at the San Gennaro. I mean, where can you go and get 20 different ways people make pizza? Thin, thick, medium. It's got everything on it, everything not on it. I mean, it's delicious. So I love the pizza at the San Gennaro Feast. So you can get one of everything. Uh, everything. Sausage, pepper, steak sandwiches, corn. Uh, artichokes? Gelato, artichokes. That's my favorite. Scoongeal. She know. goes, what the hell is scoongeal? Yeah, I don't know, but... Yes. So I hear you're also a local entertainer, uh, and, you, and uh, you do a mean Frank Sinatra. Is this uh, true? I think I can cut Sinatra, yes. Y yeah? Yes, yeah. Can you, can you give us a note or two? I can give you more than two notes if you'd like. Oh, absolutely. Okay. We want to hear it. Okay. <laughs> Brace yourself. Fly me to the moon. Let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, please be true. I said in other words, I said in other words, I said I, I said I, I said I love Well, anyway. 
anyway, thank you for that. Um, so, so where can people get tickets to the festival? Uh, they can go to SanGeneroFeast.com. Okay. Uh, right at the gate, you know, open to the public or San Gennaro Feast. I think we've got some discounts available on the online. San Gennaro Feast. G-E-N-N-A-R-O. San Gennaro. S-A-N-G-E-N-N-A-R-O. Okay. I think we got it. I think we also have some tickets for you guys and some social media stuff going on so you guys can win tickets. Well, thank you so much for being here. We Why really don't you fill it. my heart with song? Uh -oh. Let you. me sing forevermore. You are all I long for, all I worship and adore. In other words, please be true. Thank you very much. Please welcome up next, we have Dylan with a very special guest, Sarah Jessica Parker. Who put you up to that? I know it's these ones. When the moon hits your eyes. Take a break and step out to the dazzling lights. Start where it all began. Try your luck on Fremont East. Listen to live music as you make your way down the street. You'll collide and connect with amazing people. Later in the night, you'll find a variety of restaurants ready to satisfy any appetite or craving you may have. Pick any bar, lounge, or cafe. Have a craft cocktail while the kids go down the slide as you relax and unwind with your favorite drink. Explore the shops and galleries you'll find curated items just for you. You'll love downtown Las Vegas. Show the world. Visit us online at lovedtlv.vegas. Okay, awesome. All right, you guys are going to love our next guest. So she started an amazing career by playing Annie on Broadway, but beyond that, she ended up getting two Emmys and four Golden Globes. So let's take a second to think about that, because I'm at a trailer park now. And that's a big promise to deliver on, but I think we can actually do it tonight. So I know her as someone who's famous from Hocus Pocus, but you guys probably know her from Sex and the City. Please put your hands together for Sarah Jessica Parker. Oh, Come on Dylan. out. Wow, yeah. Dylan. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Oh, Dylan, what Such a an treat. Honor. Okay, so these are chairs, in of case course. you're wondering. But make sure to keep your balance, because it's All a good right. core workout. Wow, hello, everybody. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, so this is downtown Vegas community. Place to find myself. Yeah, I do not know how you ended up here. I feel bad for you, but oh, you're no, here now. No, 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 I'm the envy of millions. No, so like, I know you're probably expecting like fancy everything, but I, this I is. I wasn't even expecting to be here. I'm expecting nothing. I, this is all a wonderful, this is the cherry on the Sunday <laughs> of, a, of a great day. So I, I have no expectations. Okay, so you don't need like water. I don't want to say I have like low boss. expectations. <laughs> I just have no expectations. All right, well, they can interpret it however they all want. Right. I think that's good. Okay, so the first thing I think is they no, know what I mean, right? nobody really likes to do an interview when they're hungry, but I've heard you didn't want to eat until you came on stage. No, well, no, I didn't want to eat right as I was as I was walking on stage. Because you thought it. Well, no, like, I just would bite. be. I didn't want to take a bite as you. Oh, that's not As a you were saying my name. Oh, that's not a problem at all. Okay. In fact, can we grab her some food? I oh, heard you're super Dylan. healthy, right? Oh my God, healthy. Do you oh, eat? No. Okay. Oh, thank you, sir. Yeah. Okay. So I think this is a healthy euro. Does this sound like something you'd like? It's beautiful. It's exquisite. Oh, yeah. so go ahead. Thank you, Dylan. Yeah. That's so nice of you. No, I mean, it's really a trick I to make the interview go better. Of, of for everybody, <laughs> as Do we are mind? living communally. I'll grab one too, so then we can embarrass ourselves together. Okay, nice. Um, okay, yeah, well, so this oh, this will be like eating over a nice meal. This will exactly like oh, we're. Man. I'm gonna spill. Wanna say, I don't want to say we're on a date, but. No, you don't. You don't want to say that. <laughs> that no, would I, just I don't be mind the saying that. I'll end my life. Anyways, okay, so um, that's a great, yeah, great size bite. Delicious. Okay, so anyways, this is so cool. I can't believe you're here right now. Me neither. Okay, you know we're just a bunch of volunteers. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you do. Good. I'm kidding, Dylan. No, no. I, I, I feel like I went up a step getting insulted by you. It was like, I it's a good... Make a, I think we should make a pact that if you have any herb or anything in your teeth, I'll tell you and you'll tell me. Right. Okay. I think that's a good deal. All right. Uh, do you want pinky? No, really. Oh, you just... It's just a verbal thing. Gotcha. I don't know how you do promises, but I've always pinkied. Word. 
Okay. Because <laughs> you've got something in your I'm a now. man of honor. Right, right? <laughs> Already? <laughs> oh, did I blow our trust? No. I think no, I blew no. it already. Okay. All right, ladies. Remember the boy who cried wolf. I will. Okay. All right. Strike one, Turn but not on. strike three yet. Are you going to do Hocus Pocus too? I don't know. There's been a groundswell, I will, I will admit. Make eye contact, um, though, and say it again. Are you going to do Hocus Pocus? I'm okay, really, actually, I don't want to do that. Really, I, I, there, there are no plans. Okay. But I'm touched by. Do you know that's People. what I recognize you from? Like when I did my pre-interview and read Wikipedia, I said, oh, the Hocus Pocus. <laughs> I love that you that's think you did a pre-interview. Oh, sorry, I, like by the reading Wikipedia. <laughs> You're very That's sweet. not realistic. You came right off that Wikipedia page <laughs> and that tiny little picture in the top right. I was like, me and you are going to do it, great nor tonight. nor do I want to know, but. You never, so you didn't secretly edit your Wikipedia page? No way. Oh. Are you just let, you're letting them decide what the world knows about you? I'm sure that's the least of my worries. Um, does anybody have a napkin, a napkin in this communal, oh, yeah. the napkin community, and hot sauce, this please? communal village? Oh, that'd be great. Thank you so much. Sorry. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, that was great. Oh, that's great. a proper hanky? Oh, that's my God. Al <laughs> Alan's been volunteering thank for you. a while. I don't want to use it. I don't want to sell Oh, it. this napkin came with hot sauce, thank too, you. so it went even further. Wow. <laughs> Okay. All right. So tell me, you Thank said you. you said you were an avid reader a minute ago. I couldn't ago. do it. I couldn't do it. You're very sweet. You could have had some it. of her that's snot so on nice. there. <laughs> it's very nice to see Dude. a hanky. Dude, that's gonna be that's gonna be on eBay soon. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I hope he keeps it forever for himself. Yeah, I'm gonna buy it for my collection of everything you touched. God, that thing, the <laughs> door, <laughs> that. <laughs> You're <laughs> a real charmer. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. That's. I'm serious. Yeah. Okay. Um. So tell me about, um, I don't know, being famous. Like you go, you go like on stage and there's like zillions of people and like, yes, you, you know, yes. well not here, <laughs> but like in other places. Oh no, actually, you know what I want to know about is how do you memorize so many lines? Like you always, do you have, oh wow. Mm -hmm. Anyways, but um, that's, I'm glad you got that napkin. Um, but do you have a special technique for like remembering a bunch of lines? Because I would, like as somebody who just comes on in front of these people, I forget everything all the time. Mm -hmm. Well, how do you get over that? I actually, um, it's a very, very good question, Dylan. Yes. Um, um, you just no, I'm being serious. It's a good question, and um, lot, there are lots of pe people have various answers to this question. My my answer to this is that it's actually something that comes very easily to me, and I think I'm convinced it's like a muscle, and that when you don't use it, it sort of atrophies, but I think because I've been working for so long as an actor, it's just part that, of how you're wired. That I just simply learn lines really quickly, and I think when something's very well written, it's incredibly easy to learn because what the person is saying or trying to convey makes actually very good sense to you. And the longer okay. you play a character, the more easily you understand a point of view. And so. When I was doing any job I'm doing, I give myself the ride home to learn my lines, whether mm -hmm. it's two pages or 12 pages. I have the ride home, and sometimes the ride home is lengthy, and sometimes right. it's 10 minutes, and you, that is it. Are you pretty empathetic in general? Like when you see somebody hurting, do you hurt like mm -hmm. a lot more? You think than the average person? Well, I don't. I don't. I wouldn't assume. Or if you're someone happy, it would be a better, 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 better the average frame. Person. But how empathetic? Do you think you're more or less I don't know how to quantify my empathy. I don't know how to like. Oh. I don't know how to. I don't know <laughs> I, how to. Well, I don't pretend that I could step in their shoes, but I What's it like, think in like your a brain? lot of us, we see somebody, and if there is something sort of heartrending about either something they're saying or the way they're behaving, I'm I'm moved and touched and often saddened by it. But I wouldn't say that I'm alone. I think a lot of people are feel that way, and yeah. I know that. But can you imagine stuff really like easily? Like, like you imagine like a pink elephant like eating a corn dog in a jumpsuit. Like, is it just like, boom? Does that stuff pop into your I head could, all the time? Okay. <laughs> Put no, it on your think, own? I don't think that um, actors necessarily imagine things on Something their own. Your teeth. All right. Thanks, my friend. Yeah. But. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not going to betray our trust twice. But, is it still there? No, yeah, it's all gone now, yeah. But, um, but I like imagining things. Yeah, I, oh, I love that. imagining things. That's like my favorite thing. Yeah, have you ever like heard of a, have you ever heard of a memory palace? Where you like imagine stuff that you want to remember? No. Oh, it's so cool. There's this guy, Joshua Poore, who's got a great TED talk. And like he- Buddy, are you a little, you know? No, I'm not. Okay. No, honest, honestly, that's not me at all. Okay. 
I do drink. I drink Not more than I should. Right I used to be Mormon, was, and then I broke down. And that thing. was below the belt. Okay. Really. Yeah, but I really don't I'm believe sorry. that. I actually really love education, and I just but what, it's a way. That, you don't love. But it's a way that you teach. It's like yes. called the memory palace. No, I agree. Anyway. Okay, so the memory palace is a place that you store. So yeah, you memories. imagine whatever. Okay, so like you imagine stuff that represents the stuff you want to remember. So I don't know. I thought that would be good for acting if you wanted to like remember all your lines and stuff. But. <laughs> Well, some people use like what I think is called mnemonics. Yeah, same thing. That, that is a mnemonic. Learning, yeah, 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 I think yeah that's, that's, a, that's another oh, method. You said you read a lot. What's the last book you read? Or what, what's your favorite I'm book? I'm reading a book better. now called um, "A Girl Is a Half Formed Thing" hmm. by a young writer in Ireland named um, Emer, and I can't recall her last name at the moment. But this book sat in, in obscurity for a really long time, and then a publisher came along and recognized its sort of extraordinary prose. Mm -hmm. It's written not in Gaelic, but it's written in this sort of really challenging language in English, but um, a way of using language that's really. Okay. Um, so when you read it, you're like you're thinking like, about how to interpret everything? <laughs> um, like Shakespearean style? No, it's not Shakespearean. It's a contemporary novel about um, a very poor family in Ireland whose firstborn son, I think, suffers um, a brain tumor. and. They are in rather dire straits, and it's th thus far I'm only, I'm only on page like forty. All right, and so I know I, I know we're anyway. kind of coming out of time. Who's your Who's oh, your? We're, we're running out of time. Oh, okay, you have your meeting. Yes, in like we 15, are. Unless you want to do it in public, who's your meeting with? I really am not at liberty. Okay, to that's say not a good thing. Good try. Okay, but what we should talk about is uh, you're here because you were talking with Zappos about a new line that you're going to no, sell. No, we have it. We're yeah. talking. Oh, okay, we're, so it's all it's up and running. We're deep in it, my friend. We're deep. So I can go buy some right now. Yeah, in all seriousness, yes, you okay. can. I mean, only if you want to. Of course um, I am. I will say that we probably don't have your size. No, I worship and everything. I, um, I worship everything you touch. No, like I will you. just. Oh, no. and I worship um, myself. No, so we so we, like, launch, we we. So I have become a much better person. All of a sudden, <laughs> because of that. Talk. No. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Who knows? I might okay. Be, I might be living here soon. Oh, good. Right. You know, we'll see if you really feel that way. After right here, like in the airstream. Oh, yeah. Well, I know there's no vacancies at the moment, but yeah. I'm on the wait list. Okay, that's good. Well, you'll see. It's hard to get in. I a lot bet of qualifications. It is, yes. I'm not sure, but it really mean. I really mean. I bet it is. Okay. Last thing, at Crystal, you have a pop-up shop. Mm -hmm. Talk about that real quick, where people can um, check it out. Well, is this? I don't know if this will be relevant. It's only there until I think Saturday evening, 10 a.m. tomorrow till 10 p.m. tomorrow evening. Um, that Saturday. Yeah. And then the next day, correct? Am I out of my mind? Friday and Saturday. Yes. Have you I lost my mind. But Sorry. You know, you guys, but you've never been high. I've never been high. You've never been high, right? No. Okay. No. No, I really haven't. Okay, thank you for coming out. I oh, appreciate it. Oh, that's it. Oh, no, what? You that's, no, that's clever good. cat. <laughs> well, um, you've got to get on your secret yeah, call you. right now. This was thank really God. one of the great, great interviews. Yeah, so you don't have to say I'm it. serious. <laughs> I'm serious. You the took me by surprise, <laughs> and you're adorable. And I got stuff in my no, teeth No, you have probably. nothing. You have okay. nothing. Clean as a whistle. Oh, all right. Clean as a whistle. I hope they let you back in. Apparently, he only got delivered for two months. They were the happiest <laughs> months of his life. Okay. And he can't, uh, he can't ever replicate. He's having a hard time. Uh, no, I'm, he's, I'm broken no, he's in all happy. sorts of ways right now. Yeah, that's good. All right, let's get a big round of applause to her. Thank you so much. Oh, God. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, it was a pleasure, buddy. Yeah. You're very let's, sweet. Don't forget your food. Have, I know you're no, starving. No, no, we, um, we want to offer it to, to the community. Why aren't you starving? No, no, it's okay. I mean, they're not, they have food. Like, they're well, friends, but they're not starving. All right. Well, thanks, you guys. You were very sweet. Thank <laughs> you so much. Thanks for coming thanks, out. Guys. See ya. Thank you, Dylan. That was fun. You did such a nice job. Yeah, good luck with your call. Thank you so much. No, I really enjoyed it. Thank you. I can't believe we ended with you asking me if I was, have ever been high. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it goes on the Downtown Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, James Shahan. What's up, Las Vegas? How you guys doing tonight? Good. Okay. This is off a new project I'm working on called New Blue. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now, who poisoned the well? 
Who convinced me I couldn't be happy all by myself? I quit rapping a long time ago. This is what it sounds like to chase a high. You can't find it to Kona, so. Bought some Timberland boots just for a little boost. But once I got them home, they was just a pair of shoes. Where is the parachute? Feel like I'm falling fast or screw. Life got me feeling like the whole frame is loose. Been a day or two of what they say is true. Every time I make a purchase, I should feel incredible. Every time the women non-stop, it's amazing. Even if we're not connected and I can't feel a thing. You see, I got the women and the living and the name brand. And every possession they say is in the game plan. But this emptiness in me give me the feeling that it's Christmas morning and Santa died inside of the chimney. They say happiness is a mindset. I don't mind threats if I keep my conscience, yeah. And all these things they tell us to buy Ain't buying us any time we live in a lie They say happiness is a mindset I don't mind threats if I keep my conscience, yeah And all these things they tell us to do Ain't doing us any good all my friends starting families that got significant others All I got is this notebook in a box full of And a bed full of memories that I shouldn't describe I should have wiped from my mind if I'd have had half a mind But I just had better quota No, this isn't water Thinking about what I sacrificed even though I don't want them Think about what I've given to be in this position Trading love and companionship for a couple of listens I mean my bed is still empty and my head is still full But to pursue the perfection up on a pedestal though. What if I never acquire? Making music for hire what if everything that i've ever worked for is a liar like a boogeyman creeping deep inside of my being see the worms in the stomach but never stretching the seams what if everything that i've ever wanted and dreamed is not enough to make me happy thank you very much all right that was amazing good job thank let's you. give it up one more time for james shahan right all right all right we want to thank all our guests today we want to thank you guys for coming out again a little windy today, but thank you so much. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Downtown Podcast. But first, thank you so much. Let's end the show with DJ Lenny Love Alcantara. Good night!